A periodic sequence is a sequence that will repeat itself after t steps. So our periodic infinite sequence s0, s1 and up to st-1 which repeats to infinity will be denoted like this. And this is the sequence s0 up to st-1 then we start over by s0 and then up to st-1 and so on. This sequence will have the d transform p of d divided by 1 plus d to the period of this sequence. And P of D here is the D transform of one period of the sequence. So it's the D transform of the sequence S0, S1 and up to S T minus 1. So we can prove this theorem as follows. So what we want to do here is to find the D transform of the sequence S0, S1 and up to S T minus 1 and this sequence is periodic so we write it in this form and if we want to find the d transform of this sequence what we want to do now is that we first look at the first position so the position with the index zero and we say that this position has a one and all the other positions has a zero and then again this will be periodic written like this now if we want to find the D transform of this sequence, we can write this as one plus, and then the next one will come back when we have position with the index T, so we have D to the T. And then again, we will have this one at the position two T, and then again at the position three T and so on. And this can be written as 1 over 1 plus d to the t. And we can see why we can write it in this way by just performing this division and then see what happens. So we have 1 over 1 plus d to the t. So doing this division we have 1 in 1 we can do 1 time and 1 times 1 plus d to the t will be 1 plus d to the t. And here we will have d to the t as the remainder. Then 1 in d to the t, we can do d to the t times. And here we will get d to the t plus d to the 2t. And we get d to the 2t. And then 1 in d to the 2t, we can do d to the 2t times. And then we multiply this by 1 plus d to the t. So we have 1 to the d to the 2t plus d to the 3t and so on. So we see here what we get is exactly this d transform of the periodic sequence, which is a d transform that we have here. And of course, this will just continue also to infinity. Now let us look at position with index one here. And we say that we have a one in exactly this position and then we have a zero in all the other positions. If we take the D transform of this sequence, we will get first D, then plus D to the T plus one, plus D to the two T plus one, plus D to the three T plus one, and so on. And this we can also write by breaking out our D which will give us d times 1 plus d to the t plus d to the 2t plus d to the 3t and so on. And this will be d times and the d transform of this sequence here we know since before that we can also write as 1 over 1 plus d to the t. So this one we can write as d over 1 plus d to the t. And now let us continue and we look at the position with the index i plus 1. So similarly we will here have the sequence with a 1 at the position i plus 1. 
and zero in the all other positions. And if you want to write the D transform of this sequence, we will get D to the I plus D to the T plus I plus D to the 2T plus I and so on which we can also write similarly as before as d to the i over 1 plus d to the t. So if we now add up all the positions that we have s0, s1 up to s t minus 1 and similarly periodic sequence we can write this on the D transform as S0 times 1 over 1 plus D to the T plus S1 times D over 1 plus D to the T plus and continuing until we have S T minus 1 times d to the t minus 1 over 1 plus d to the t. So we can write this with only one denominator as s0 plus s1 times d plus up to s t minus 1 times d to the t minus 1 and then we have the denominator 1 plus d to the t. And what we see here in the numerator, what we have is exactly the d transform of our sequence s0, s1 up to s t minus 1. And in the denominator we have 1 plus d to the t which is exactly as stated by our theorem. So let us look at a few examples of this. So let us start with example 0, 1, which is a periodic sequence. We have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 repeated in infinity. If we want to find the D transform of this sequence, we can find this as D, which is the D transform of the sequence 0, 1, over 1 plus d squared because 2 is the period of the sequence. Our next example is the sequence 1, 1, 0, which is also a periodic sequence. So if we want to find the d transform of this sequence, we find first the d transform of the sequence 1, 1, 0, which is 1 plus d. And then this is divided by 1 plus d cube because 3 is the period of the sequence. And if you want, we can also write this sequence as 1 plus d divided by and 1 plus d cube, we can also write as 1 plus d times 1 plus d plus d squared. So we can write this as 1 over 1 plus d plus d squared. And for our third example, this will not be as straightforward. So in this case, we first have one and then one. And after that, we will have a periodic sequence given by one, one, zero. And if we want to find the D transform of this sequence, we can write it at first one plus D which is our first two ones that we have. And then after that, we will have a periodic sequence, but this periodic sequence be, will be delayed two time units. So we multiply by d squared, and then we have the periodic sequence here, which is given by one plus d over one plus d cubed. If you want to write this with a common denominator, we can write 1 plus d, and we can multiply this by 1 plus d cubed, and then divide it by 1 plus d cubed, and then 
we will add our d squared and 1 plus d over 1 plus d cubed in this case. So this is the same and now we have the same denominator so we can write this as 1 plus d plus d cube plus d to the 4 plus d squared plus d cube over and our common denominator is now 1 plus d cube. And since we have binary sequences these two we cancel out so what we have left is 1 plus d plus d squared plus d to the 4 and over 1 plus d cube. And both these are divisible by 1 plus d so we can write this as 1 plus d times 1 plus d squared plus d cube over 1 plus d times 1 plus d plus d squared which will be equal to 1 plus d squared plus d cubed over 1 plus d plus d squared. So this is another way of writing the d transform of this periodic sequence.